Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System, and it is a big weekend of sports coming up. And one of the big events happening this weekend is going to be on Saturday, January the 21st. It is going to be Texera mm -hmm. taking on Hill in the UFC 283 main event for the light heavyweight world title there in the UFC. It is a vacant title, and the two fighters will be going at it in this match. Texera is a former light heavyweight champion. And he is coming back to battle Jamal Hill to try to win that belt back. As you can see there, we've got the Z Code System website. We've got some great blogs up there and some videos to go along with it on YouTube if that's where you're watching us from. And if you're not, you should be going over to YouTube and checking out Z Code System. Just search Z Code System and you'll find our page there on YouTube if you're not already there right now. And as you can see, as I said, we've got some NHL picks for Sunday. Pittsburgh taking on the New Jersey Devils. And then if you scroll down, we've got some previews for the NFL's divisional playoff games, Cowboys and 49ers. And then we've also got the preview that I wrote for UFC 283 as we take a look at Texera taking on Hill in the main event. And it is a big card. Uh, when I wrote the blog, there were 15 fights scheduled on the main card and the, the prelim cards. Uh, UFC had a few issues with fighters and fights being canceled, fighters pulling out, fights being canceled. Uh, ahead of the fight, uh, excuse me, ahead of the uh, the, the event, is, which is taking place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And uh, they've really stacked this card. The UFC has Dana White and company have really stacked the undercard and the prelims to try to give fans everything uh, they want. So they will purchase this pay-per-view, which will be coming up on Saturday, as I said. So really quickly, before we look at the odds for Texera taking on Hill, let's take a look at the undercard and uh, the main event card, courtesy of the UFC. And this is, of course, the UFC's website right in front of you, where you can get your great information uh, you know, on the event coming up. And as you can see there, Texera taking on Hill. And just looking at that, you can see that Texera has been through the wars and it looks a little worse for wear compared to Hill, who uh, looks a little bit younger and brighter uh, going into this uh, fight. Uh, and as I scroll down here, we can take a look at the main card. Again, we've got the number two contender, Glover Texera, taking on Jamal Hill. He's the number seven contender. He's a knockout artist. He has won his last three fights going into this. And you can see there we've got the odds that UFC are giving us. We've got Hill at minus 140 to pick up the win in this. But you know what? I do like Texera to win this bout. Now, he lost his uh, his most recent fight when she lost the light heavyweight championship to Jerry, uh, to Jerry Prozaka. Prozaka? <laughs> Excuse me for my mispronunciations of that. Uh, Prozaka had to go un uh, under surgery. He had to undergo surgery on his shoulder, which prevented Texera from having a rematch with him for the belt. So belt, uh, the belt was uh, declared vacant. And these two will battle it out on Saturday. Now, I do like Texera to pick up the win in this because he's been there before. But uh, as we all know, Hill is uh, a young uh, rising fighter up the ranks. But keep in mind, this match will take place in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro. And Texera will be fighting in front of his home, uh, home fans. Now, in a flyweight title bout, we've got Brandon Marino taking on Davison Figueiredo. Uh, in this match, Marino goes in as the favorite at minus 125. Then we have a welterweight bout, Gilbert Burns of Brazil taking on Niall, or excuse me, Neil Magny of the United States. And Burns goes in at a heavy minus 460. He's the favorite there. And uh, as you notice there, those three fights, uh, top fight, the main event, and the two fights from the top there, all these featuring Brazilian fighters as the UFC tries to uh, you know, appeal to the crowd. There, we've got a women's flyweight where another Brazilian will be rest, uh, will be take going into the octagon. Jessica Andrade. She's at minus four ninety to defeat Lauren Murphy. And then we've got finally another Brazilian taking on uh, another Brazilian and Johnny Walker in a light heavyweight bout taking on Paul Craig of the United Kingdom. And Walker is at a at a nice one ninety five minus one ninety five. Then we've also got the prelims. Uh, there, and we'll just quickly go through these here. And uh, Rue taking on Puerto Rio. We've got Ferreira taking on Rodriguez, Costa and Moses, Almeida uh, taking on Shamil. We've got Bonfim and Lazez. 
And then we've got the early prelims with La Serrata and Stammen, McKinney and Bonfim, uh, Dalby and Alves, Nunes and Ferrin, Oliveira and Marcos. Now, again, like I've said before, we've got loads of Brazilians on this fight card. The UFC has loaded this up with Brazilian fighters and undercard bouts. And as you can see there, we've got uh, quite heavy odds in some of these bouts in the uh, in the prelims and the undercards. Now, those were the odds given to us by the UFC. But let's take a look at the odds courtesy of Bet Online. As you can see there, if you're using BetOnline.ag, you can get a welcome bonus uh, this week in Tibet on the UFC 283. Just that just happened to come up as I clicked on that. But uh, let's take a look at the sports here. Okay, so we're on to UFC 283 there. It took me a minute to get that, to find that. And as you can see there, uh, betonline.ag is giving us Jamal Hill as the favorite at minus 135 on the money line. And then we got Glover Texera at plus 115 in the money line. So, uh, like I said before, I like Texera to, to pick up the win here in this fight. Now, Hill is on the rise. He's uh, won his last three fights. He's a knockout artist, as has been described um, by a lot of... Uh, UFC uh, pundits uh, of late as they previewed this fight. Uh, but Texture, in my opinion, he's been there before. He's 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 been on the mountain, if you will. He's he's had that light heavyweight title as recently as earlier this year, or excuse me, as recently as 2022. And most importantly, in my opinion, he's going to be fighting in front of his home crowd there in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This is going to give him a massive, massive backing. And I think that backing could be what puts him over in this fight, what gets him over Hill and gets Texera the win. And I, I, he's, he's a solid fighter, of course, Hill is as well. But I think it's going to come down to that hometown crowd. And I could see this fight going over three and a half rounds as Texera picks up the win and claims that vacant light heavyweight title. Now, this is going to be an exciting night of UFC action. Like I said before, 15 fights have been uh, offered up by the UFC for this. Of course, card is subject to change. We always know that with UFC and boxing cards because things do change so rapidly. So if you are betting on this, you you might want to wait until Saturday afternoon to to have a uh, to place your money down just to make sure these fights are going ahead and to you know put your money down on the fighter you think is going to win the bouts uh, or the bout that you are uh, interested in betting on. I'm going with Texera in this bout against Jamal Hill. I think that he can pull it off on in on, on, on home soil and uh, lift that light heavyweight title once more. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about the UFC 283 event, and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy watching it as well. And also, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, and if you haven't subscribed to the, to the Z Code System channel, please do that right now. Subscribe to it here on YouTube. Stay up to date on everything we post here on all of the sports from around the world.